so hello to everyone let me just give a little bit of time for this to come in i've got shy shy with me as well so you guys will probably be hearing him in the background whilst i'm speaking but yeah i needed to go live on this um i was trying really hard not to say anything publicly um i mean i have had conversations privately with certain people <clears throat> but this is something that people really really just need to pay attention to um and i think it's a very op good opportunity to highlight something so that people can just pay attention going forward i feel like i'm really irritated to be honest because again we're in a position where people can put in situations or put in uh, opportunities where they can continually take advantage um continually hey carlos um take advantage really because no one's actually paying attention um no one's actually aware um you know a lot of people just get carried away in the um the hype of things you know when something sounds good <laughs> you want to go off and do it because it sounds good right it sounds harmless people need to start seriously using their discernment and I, i've been highlighting this for the last year with other people within the community and the way that they actually um utilize certain things um they utilize their their ability to communicate spirituality very well um they utilize the, the fact that they have an audience they utilize all of these things but they don't know what the hell they are doing and so people end up latching onto this energy latching onto the fact oh i'm gonna do a mass meditation do you even know the source of what that meditation actually is Furthermore, I don't even agree with mass meditations. That's why I don't... A lot of people have been like, oh, can you do a mass meditation? Can you do a mass meditation? Like, I, I, I make sure I frame it in a completely different way because, like I said, there's people going around in the community that have been going around in the community, going around astral jacking people, right? Okay, this is a very, very real, real thing. Okay, there are very real sorcerers up in the community that want to um, pose up as light workers, right? There's very real witches that want to pose up in the community like they're a light worker, but because things sounds good, oh yeah, let's join in, let's 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 all join in in this energy, let's heal Mother Earth. Mother Earth is going through a cleansing right now. Mother Earth is going through a purge. What do you think you going in and healing the Earth is going to do? Right? You're literally going against the natural order of what is actually taking place. And it doesn't mean to say, it doesn't mean to desensitize yourself to what's actually taking place. What's taking place is a lot. But Mother Earth is cleansing, right? And all of these people that are on this love and light, love and light. Okay, you're the ones who's going to feel it right now because love and light ain't working. Unicorns ain't working, right? It's not working anymore. So what are we actually going to do? There's only a few people that I know fully understand what this whole thing is really about. And this doesn't require love and light and sending healing to the world. Okay? This requires serious spiritual work on every single level. I don't care who you are, whether you're a Christian, whether you're Buddhist, whether whatever. This is a time when we need to dig into some depths. This isn't love and light. This isn't heart. This is, a, this is how we stay frozen. This is how we stay paralyzed. Right? Because no one feels no one feels motivated to actually do anything because you're in this love and light stage. Start really paying attention to certain things that's going around. I do not align myself with that energy that's going around right now. That is not authentic. And it's interesting because I was led to create something similar before they actually sent out this mass um uh thing to everyone to do this meditation i actually was planning something but i didn't put it online because i wasn't led to i wasn't led to put it online i was led to do something completely separate 
that wasn't for the many that was with where that was with with people that understood exactly what was going down not everyone understands what's going down right now so i can't expect them to align their energies into something that they don't understand and they don't even know how to be able to deal with what are we doing here this is how the spiritual community ends up putting a lot of people in danger because they start putting oh let's do this let's do that do you, do you guys know oh careful shy shy do you guys know that literally a couple months ago people were getting doing rituals from flipping young pharaoh and letting in entities into their yard that they didn't even know how to get rid of this is the real stuff that's actually happening in the, in the community and no one actually wants to speak out and say what's actually happening. A few months ago, I was dealing with people that kept saying, oh my gosh, these people are coming into my dreams, into, my, into the astrals. And they keep attacking me in my dreams. And these are spiritual people. Stop listening to people just because they're, they say that they're flipping spiritual. Spiritual means nothing. Demon is spiritual too. Please, please be aware. Just because someone says they're spiritual doesn't mean shit. Like, seriously, I need people to really tap into discernment right now because everyone's going to be free to be putting out, let's do this, let's do that, you know, and no one's actually thinking about what's going on. The mm-hmm. amount of people mm-hmm. I've spoken to recently that's actually not feeling the vibration of what's actually, what, what's actually going on right now. Mm-hmm. Like, the amount of people that are like, are you doing that meditation? I'm like, no. They're like, no. Right? Because it doesn't feel right. And if it doesn't feel right, don't do it. Don't feel like you have to do it because it sounds like you're doing something good for the earth. This is the mass deception that is playing out right now. And I seriously need people to pay pay attention. Open your eyes. Don't wait for someone like me to come online and be like, guys, pay attention. Like, really tap into your own discernment yourself. Careful, baby. You're going to squash the oranges. Like, seriously, tap into your discernment. Like, this is real, real times. And people are taking real life advantage of people right now. So anyway, that's why I'm not doing, that's why I'm not um, joining that collective thing. If you guys want to do something and you understand this energy, message me. I'm not going to be saying much because you should already know what to do. And if you don't understand what that means, then this message isn't for you. I'm very specific with who I'm speaking to right now. This is very serious, okay? So if you understand the times and you know what it is that you need to be doing... Because, like I said, this is vibrational, spiritual warfare. Warfare. Okay? Exactly. It's soul harvesting. All of that. This whole en- this whole period. This whole energy. Easter. People are not paying attention. The, the, the 14th of, of May, right? Is 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 the deity is the day for this Saint Corona of, of flipping epidemics and stuff. This whole stuff is aligned to deities. It's a li- and it, and again, I like I said, I felt this energy from 2017. The same time. This is harvesting. They're harvesting people's energy. Why do you think they're getting the whole of the UK to be clapping at the same time? These are not just things that people tell you to do. Like, stop thinking. Don't just be an autopilot. Stop questioning why you're doing something. Yes, it sounds good to be clapping for the NHS because we appreciate them. Yes, we do appreciate them. But at the same time, understand the plan. Understand what is happening behind the scenes. Understand the motives. When you meditate, your soul is vulnerable, so they are taken off. Of course, your soul is vulnerable. You're up in the astrals. Most people don't even know how to be able to operate up there. But then you're getting the whole world to to meditate. What the hell is actually going on right now? Seriously, like I don't. Who? You know, in it, shy shy. What's going on? Why are these people not listening? <laughs> Even Shasha is mad. 
For real, like, I just need you guys to prick up your eyes right now. I can understand that a lot of people, it's easy for you to kind of get lost in the energy of what's happening because you don't know what's happening. So it's easy to just jump on a train. But seriously, this is a time when we need to be paying most attention, right? Most attention. Yeah, cold building te tactics. Like, what does clapping do, right? When you're talking about clapping, yeah? Clapping moves energy, right? When you've got a whole country, a whole country at the same time, clapping in the middle of something that doesn't even make no sense. What the hell? Yes, Eleanor, clap offering. They say that in church, give us a clap, give a clap offering. Right? No one's, no one's picking these things up. And then when I say something, I get called insensitive. Oh my gosh. Please open your eyes. Please don't jump on anything, on, on anything that sounds good. That sounds, sounds, like if it sounds too good, it's probably, it's probably too good to be true. Yeah, it was, it was 8, it, I think it was 8.30 p.m. or 8 o'clock p.m. And they've done it twice. It's not one time they did it. And the second time they did it was the day after everyone found out this was all bullshit. So now you're clapping for an NHS, for the, N the, the National Health Service that's saying it's overrun, where we can clearly see that hospitals around the world are actually empty, the majority of them. So they've clearly pushed them into, into a few hospitals and to make it look like they're overrun, right? But then the rest of them are on TikTok dancing. It's no one... Oh, what the hell? How the hell? In the middle of a pandemic, how the rascal have you got all of these nurses on TikTok doing dance challenges and no one's asking questions? Aren't we supposed to be over... Aren't you supposed to be overwhelmed? The, the, the hospital is empty. They're all... Cl they're all... It's about... So about ten of them in one room and no social distancing, and we're not. We're, and and we're supposed to be clapping. We're supposed to be clapping. Are you a mug? Do you have mug written on your head? Like, stop paying attention. Seriously, like I, there's so much stuff I've been wanting to say for a long time, but I'm trying to not. I'm trying to be as. As as and I know I'm I'm shouting right now because I'm irritated. I'm I'm really I'm really irritated. At this point, I'm just pissed off because at this point there's not many people paying attention, and that now puts a lot of people in danger, like me. <laughs> right? The whole world you had so many people begging for lockdown. Now look what happened. Now we don't know have no human rights. To the point where people are going into hospitals, going and filming what's happening to go and show you. Whilst you're in your house, scared and washing your hands, they're trying to show you that this is all a hoax. Yet the police go and take them and go and arrest them. For what? That's your human rights. This is not a joke. Fuck Corona. This ain't got nothing to do with Corona. This has everything to do with your human rights. Right, your ability to be human, still just be a fucking human being. <laughs> you can't go outside your home. You can't go to the park. Sun is blazing right now and I can't go and take my child to the park. I've got family members that have died, right? I can't even go to their flipping funerals. You have to be streaming Funerals online, are you crazy? Like, this is not something for us to be sitting down like nothing's happening in front of our eyes. What do you think they're doing with bodies? Where do you think they're going? Does anyone remember organ harvesting? No? Because they're going and cremating and taking our, our families and we don't even know what's happening. But we're compliant with everything. Oh, the government is helping us. The government has our best interest at heart. The government's the same people that 
fucked up Grenfell. All of those people that are, that died in Grenfell. That's why I've changed my profile picture, right? Because the whole world is now Grenfell right now. And I know I have a lot of international people on my on my page. Grenfell Towers, that was corporate murder, right? They lied with the amount of people that died in that building. It was much more people that died in that building. Right. And it was corporate murder because they know that those buildings were dangerous and they left all those people to die. So now we've got the whole world as Grenfell right now. And we're looking at corporate murderers literally stripping every single part of our freedom that we have left. Every little part of our rights that we have left. And everyone's just sitting down. Oh, it's OK. Coronavirus, let's just keep washing our hands. What the fuck? Where are we? Where are you? Stop paying attention. Like, this is not a joke. This is not no... This is not a drill, right? We need to be waking up. Where do you think this is going to go? They had these powers for two and a half years. Interestingly, the duration of Saturn, um, of this Saturn and Aquarian, uh, Aquarius transit, very interestingly enough. But they've got these powers for two and a half years. Where do you think they're going to take this? And I'm, I'm being so serious because I'm, I'm more so irritated with the, the, the quote unquote spiritual people that are supposed to be awake. Seeing everything that's happening, and you lot are on some joking. <laughs> on some joking. Like, oh my gosh, it's those people that are going to get people killed. Because no one's paying attention. So I'm just saying, seriously, guys. Open up your eyes. Do not link up yourself in any any little thing because everyone wants to start up a group now. Everyone wants to start up a movement now when this should have been started up for a long time ago. We should have been doing this. People are too reactionary. People are too reactionary. Something happens and you react. Right? People should have been on this from a long time ago. I've been, I've been talking on my profile for itself. The amount of times I've been speaking, how many people pays attention? How many people has been actually listening? And I know I'm not the only one. I know there's plenty more, but people choose not to listen. They only choose to engage with things that actually doesn't benefit them. I guarantee you, go onto Twitter right now. Go and see the trending things on Twitter. Go and see the trending things on Facebook. Go and treat to um, see the trending things on YouTube. I guarantee you it is an information that is helping us understand the truth of what's happening right now. It's bullshit. It's people going around twerking, doing bullshit. That doesn't benefit us. Because we're not paying attention. So I'm going to be, my profile will be blasted. Like I have been blasted in the last few days because right now we're in a media blackout. No, the media ain't, ain't, um, ain't um, broadcasting truth right now. All 24 hours later, they still, they, they um, 24 hours later, Sky News is reporting the fact that the 5G masks has burnt down. Yet there's how many other 5G masks that have been burning down, Right. But they don't want, they're scared. They don't want to be able to have another 2011. That London riot scared the bullshit out of them. Because they know how quick UK can just get together just at the click of a finger and tear that whole shit down. We don't play like that. We're not America. Please understand, we are not America. Right? Like, America takes a lot of bullshit. UK, this is why I keep saying we're a completely different culture. In it, shy, shy. We're different. <laughs> We're different. So yeah, please do not be getting engaged in that. Like I said, if you understand the times, if you understand the energy, send me a message. Eight PM. That's when I'm going down. I'm not saying anything publicly on social media because that's what I wasn't led to do. If you do want to be able to know, message me because this isn't for everyone. 
Not everyone understands and we're not meant to be connecting with everyone right now. Like I've been saying, go and look at my last video that I just uploaded. We are all on our, our own timeline right now, right? And for, for good purposes, right? For good purposes. Don't get mixed up, mixed up in collective energy that, that, that is actually trying to take you somewhere else. <coughs> yeah, man, spiritual discernment. Seriously. So, yeah, I must have saved my voice. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys soon. I'll talk to you later.